quickly as I possibly can. Um, so label gen, they're asking us to find angle B. I know they wrote in angle X. I don't know really why they put it in angle X, because we're not really concerned, actually, with angle X. We're only concerned about what angle B is. So once I have angle B, I automatically label them. And I'm going to look at this. For angle B, we have to be a curve, because that's what the question asks is angle B. So you're going to want to swap what you just did. So anyways, first thing, find the hypotenuse. That's the easy part, right? The next one, find the adjacent. The adjacent has to connect your angle with the 90 degree angle. And then this would be the opposite. Okay. So now that we know that we have the opposite and the adjacent, we need to determine what is the best trigonometric equation to use for this. And I will go and ask Justice, which would be the best trigonometric equation to use? Sine, cosine, and tangent. That would probably be a reason why you would not want to be doing what you were doing. Megan. Tangent. And the reason being is because the tangent function does not deal with the ratio of the hypotenuse at all, right? So if you guys remember, the tangent of any angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we have tangent of angle B that we're trying to find. Tangent of angle B, opposite over adjacent. Therefore, to find B, B equals tan inverse of 22 over 19. I know some of you guys are a little bit limited on your technology, but um, for here on out for this test, guys, you're going to want to make sure you have one. So therefore, we'll just take inverse tangent of, shoot, inverse tangent of 22 divided by 19. And we get 49.18. Um, it depends on how the question is answered. I, if not knowing what the answer is, or not knowing how they want it to round, I always round to the hundredth. But some of the problems will just say round to the tenth. Okay. And that's it. Done.